On most Danfoss pressure switches, the differential is adjustable. Please remember that a higher differential results in fewer switching cycles and a longer product life. In our example, we'll be demonstrating how to set up a Danfoss pressure switch for rising pressure applications. We've chosen an RT200 with a measuring range of 0.2 to 6 bar and a differential of 0.25 to 1 bar. First, remove the cover. Inside, you can see that it is an RT200. And at the bottom of the switch, you can see the unique code number. At the top, you have the setting knob. The range is set using the setting knob. RT200 covers the range from 0.2 to 6 bar. In this example, we will set the level to 3 bar. Inside, you can also find the differential setting nut, where you can set the differential. The setting nut scale goes from 1 to 10. In the instructions, you will find the table where you can read which differential level corresponds to the setting levels. If you, for example, need a differential pressure level of 0.6 bar, you must adjust the setting to 4.5 with the setting nut. Let's look at the cutoff for rising pressure. When the pressure exceeds the upper set point, contacts 1 and 2 break and contacts 1 and 4 connect. When the pressure falls to the lower set point, the contacts change over to the initial position. Contacts 1 and 4 break and contacts 1 and 2 connect. If you want to know more about Danfoss pressure switches, please visit our website, supportmadeeasy.com.